Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome, welcome back to episode 28 of Dead Film Society. I'm James. Is it 27? No, 28. The Pixar one was 27. Oh, yeah. The sure, Lightyear sure, and Elvis yeah. one. I'm Toby. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Toby, do you care to explain why we're online today? I have COVID. Bruh. That's why. He's got COVID, ladies and gentlemen. He's got COVID. We've also got, we've also got Xavier here. Xavier's just chilling here. Um, yeah. But today we'll be talking about something very, very special and up-to-date, like we always do. We'll be talking about yes. Stranger Things Volume 2, which, uh, how long ago? It came out July 1st, so it came out, um, what's the date? Three or four days yeah, ago. four days ago. And watched it all in one night. It's a solid four hours of good TV and if yes. you've got a spare four hours I recommend watching it heavily um, what were your initial thoughts on it Toby actually no before we before we start that how, how have you been with the whole COVID situation what's up with that so how did you get it fine just been a snotty note uh, probably from serving people at work yeah um, yeah just had a snotty nose uh, yeah just been watching a lot of stuff in my room what have you watched enjoying life um, Mulholland Drive. You seen that? No, I haven't. Is that the one with um? Fuck, what's her name? Amy Watts. Yeah, that's the one. Isn't that um? Yeah. One of our very lovely uh, viewers' favorite movie. Yes, it is. Yeah. It shout is. out to um, shout out to that person. You know who yeah. you are. Um. Yeah. Um. It's really confusing. Yeah. I really didn't know what was happening at all. Yeah. But um, I still enjoyed it, though. <laughs> Good on you, Toby. Uh, it, it's a bit of a... It's one of those mindfuck movies, for sure. Mm. Um, I had to Google it after to see what actually like what actually happened. But was it a bit of a, and, um, bit of a weird ending? It's like... You just have to... Yeah. It's like... It involves dreaming and stuff like that. Okay. So... You don't know whether it's a dream sequence or not. Yeah. So it gets quiet. Yeah. Um, watch a lot of Daredevil. It's pretty good. Jeez, you sound a bit you sound yeah. a bit throaty. It's in, is it in your throat? Have you got yeah. a sore <laughs> have you got a sore throat? Yeah, I do, yeah. <coughs> to be honest, yeah. I've got a bit of a sore throat. I've had tonsillitis for the last week. So but I've decided yeah. to push through it. But we speaking of um I'm just gonna segue real quick. We've we've still got the Coke. Mm. Not in the can form. Nice. So we've got a big... Uh, and this is the... Got Coke Zero, nah, this is the classic stuff. But we've also got... <coughs> some pineapple lumps. Nice. Some sour skittles. Just to get me through. Um, yeah, but it's it, it feels a little bit weird doing an online um, episode. Don't know, it does. Don't yeah. It just feels a little bit strange not have, yeah. having everyone here. But... Um, yeah, makes sense. Stranger Things. Oh no! No pun in, yeah. No pun intended. No pun intended. But let's get into it. <clears throat> what did you like about the new new volume, volume two? What did you like? Um, pretty dope. I still think season one's better. Um, what volume one? Do you mean volume one? No, season one. Season one. Oh. Over like overall. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can see why they took so long with it. There's so much, oh, like, yeah. VFX shots in it. Well, and the length um, of the episodes as well. I mean, you've got to give them that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did cry a few times. Um, are we just going to... Sp- are we going to do spoil? Do you want to just spoil we, it? Are we going to do non-spoiler? Nah, fuck it. We'll just do spoilers. It's a bit of a different yeah, episode, it, yeah. so we might as well. Um, so, yeah. we uh, start off Volume 2, like, pretty much from uh, Volume 1 of Mm -hmm. 11 opening the portal which i thought was good to just you know keep it keep it going and it wasn't like they had to finish off anything or stuff like that they were just kind of trying to keep the hype for the tv show as long (laughs) as possible um sorry yep but uh yeah um yeah it starts off with the aftermath of 11 and uh which brings back brings back her powers which um arguably is the strongest she's ever been if if we're because mm-hmm. once they, let's just, yeah, we're spoiling it. Once they escape the, what what's it called? The base that she was in. The, 
the Nina yeah, thingy. Yeah. Nina base. Yeah. yeah. So the base that she was in, once I escaped that, she the the army come because they want to kill Eleven because they think she's responsible for all the deaths and all that, which which was actually Vecna's wrong wrongdoing. Mm-hmm. But um yeah, she pretty much takes down a helicopter. That's pretty pretty awesome. That shot was so dope. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, cause you, that was that practical? Cause it looked very real. Like I'm sure. I'm honestly. I'm, I'm sure it was. Down. I'm sure it was. I mean, we can mm-hmm. do a little bit, f- did bit more further research into that, but it would be cool if it was. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would be cool. And we also get the first death, like, like proper like, um, character that's been there for a while. Death. We get the death of Papa. I'm just gonna put a massive spoiler warning at the start of this. Oh as yeah, well. yeah. We get the f- yeah. we get shot down like three times, and then, um, I it was a good. I feel like it was a good way to go. Like he was like, mm-hmm. Eleven used her powers against him, and then, um, he's like, oh, f- I'm just gonna help her escape, and then he ends up getting shot for it. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, Eleven kind of just dusted him off and was like. I love you, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, bye, Papa. And she just lets him die there. I thought that was yeah, just a good way good. to go. He needed to go. He needed to go. He did. Although, He's a dick. Yeah, although he wanted the best for her. Yeah, we can we can always see. We've, there's a bit of... There, he had a bit of ulterior... Some ulterior motives that were going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also at the very start of Volume 2, what did you think of the whole... Uh, Nancy situation. Vecna letting go of Nancy when she was in the Upside Down. Yeah. Um, what even happened? I don't remember. So um, at the in Volume One, she um, gets like taken by Vecna, and she's like in that state where she's like not hypn. I wouldn't say hypnotized, but she's just like in that state of whatever state you get in when you're being done by Vecna. But then she escapes. Mm-hmm. So I'm just yeah. like wondering, how do you feel about that? <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah, I feel cool about it. Yeah, it's a really cool opening scene, man. Um, <laughs> um yeah. Um, I think Steve should have gone with Nancy. Oh, I that was think, my um, that was my next question as well. Yeah, but think about this. Bro. Think about this. This is it was kind of good and kind of bad. Like I liked. I liked what Steve wanted, how he said he was like, um, I I want like six kids, I want a caravan like this, like sleeping in the caravan, travelling the world with my kids. And then he goes, oh, but I pictured you in it and everything. (coughs) Sorry. And, um... Ew. But this is what I thought. Like, what's better? What's better for Nancy in general? Steve pretty much just taking her, not letting her do what she wants to do. Or Jonathan... Although it will pain him a lot to let her go to uni and, you know, have her dream career. So who's the better bloke in that situation? Mm-hmm. Steve. <laughs> I was going to say, although I love Steve, I think Jonathan's Jonathan's doing the right thing. But, I mean, Steve no, is mate. as well. Steve was never... I, I, I really don't think Steve was going to do anything. So it's he's, he's not that kind of guy. Well, he's, he's a different man. I just... I'm... They like just like hinted at the entire season. Yeah, that yeah. Steve was gonna get with Nancy, then just kind of. Well, they hint- nothing They happens. hinted a lot of things. Hmm. They've hinted a yeah. lot of stuff, but um, oh, speaking of relationships as well, I know this was kind of left in the. Oh, it wasn't really left in the dust, but it wasn't really touched on too much until like um, the end of volume two, but a little bit in volume one. Um, Robin and what's the other girl's name? The, the uh, band chick. And chick. Yeah, the chick um, she had a crush on. Honestly, don't remember. You don't remember? I was didn't really care either, to be honest. Yeah, it, it wasn't a very, like... Sorry. It wasn't a very, like... <laughs> yeah. It wasn't touched on enough for us to care too much about it. But, um... Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Um, oh, we saw um, Vecna's plans... Uh, w- yeah, with all with all the um like how he he was behind everything but it was kind of predictable um mm-hmm. like we find out that he was in, involved with the mind flare and the demogorgons and all that stuff and he was behind it but he wanted 11 to join him in this whole thing 
but then he just ended up wanting her to mm. watch it all fall and whatever. <clears throat> Which I thought was cool because I don't know, it's just a it's just a villainy thing to, mm-hmm. it's a villainy thing to do. Um Yeah. What were your thoughts as well on, on um, the Oh no, you go. go. On what? No, you go, go. No, you go mate, you go mate. Fucking you just go. You go. I've spoken enough already. You go. I was gonna say, um I liked Max's um that scene where she dies, even though she doesn't she does well, like a minute. She technically does die because she's in a coma. Like, her brain's dead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but, like, when her, like, arms and legs break, I was like, bruh. Yeah. Like, this is brutal. And, um, yeah, I did cry, so I was quite emotional. Yeah. It was quite emotional. Yeah. I did shed a tear there. And I'm I'm going to say it, Caleb McLaughlin's acting in that scene was sensational. Yeah. I'm a, it was. I'm a sucker for a bit of a crying anger scene and i feel like he did that really really well um Mm -hmm. that was done very well what do you think about about dustin's crying scene with eddie another another death another spoiler another death ladies and gentlemen eddie dies rest in peace eddie eddie i feel like eddie's character arc was really good as well for one season i mean Mm -hmm. at the start when chris in volume one when chrissy dies he runs away and he always constantly brings up that he he runs away from his problems but then <clears throat> he decides to cut the rope that's or the bed sheets that are um in between the two or the upside down in the real world and he kind of sacrifices himself in his way and becomes the hero and he does and uh stupid bats <laughs> bats the bats yeah. the bats got him i don't know how that same thing happened to Steve as well. I mean, he didn't get attacked yeah, by... Yeah, Steve just kind of took it. Yeah, but he didn't get well, attacked by as many. Fucking, he got, like, his flesh eaten by them, like, his ribs. Yeah, but it was only, like, it was only like five of them. But Eddie was, like, got munted by, like, a hundred. Mm. Oh, also, yeah. Eddie, what were your thoughts on the guitar scene? That was... Pretty dope. That was sick. Um, that was sick. I, I do love Metallica, yeah. so it was pretty dope hearing them. And, um... Yes, it's a nerd's dream to doing that, you know, oh. playing guitar on, on top of the van, backdrop, the upside down. The backdrop as well, the the lightning and the clouds, and then you got the Metallica playing. That was sick. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, I also cried at the scene where Dustin tells... Oh, his uncle? Eddie's uncle yeah. about him dying. And he's, like, got the lip quiver and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he, like, hands yeah. him his necklace or his chain or whatever. That shit is sad. Yeah. That was sad. It is. Um, what yeah. What were your thoughts on the whole Russian stuff? All the Russian prison stuff? Yeah. Solid. Um, it was a good action scene, I reckon. Yeah. It was okay. Um, I was trying to think, like, how... I kind of predicted, like, I thought how they're going to, like, make this connect with what's happening in Hawkins. And I, th- oh, I thought yeah. about that, the idea that they're making them at this prison. Yeah, but it kind of came... Did it came, it ca- kind of came out of nowhere, though. Like, the whole Russian... I mean, the Russian guards and stuff were brought up in Season 3 when they had that... Mm-hmm. Um, that portal gun thing that blew up. Mm-hmm. But then... um. Then it like cut. It like shows all the stuff they had planned. Like they had the mind flare. It, what do they call that? Like the. It's not the. It's know, not like demigod. no the dust stuff. Oh, I don't even know. Let's just call it the dust stuff. Know, it has yeah. a name, but. Dust stuff. I forgot. Yeah. The dust stuff. They had all the mind flare dust stuff and all the demigorgons, which was also a subtle hint to, um, Alien. There are a few, um, movie references yeah. from that era. Because when Sigourney Weaver's mm-hmm. like looking around, she's got all the aliens in the tank, which is kind of the same as what happened when um, Hopper was looking around and seeing all the demigorgons and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. but, uh, yeah. Also, what when Hopper was in the arena with all the demigorgons after they'd all been flamed by Murray, where did, where did that sword mm-hmm. come from? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just like. Ran- 
Yeah, there's a sword. <laughs> like, yeah. randomly picks up a sword, like a good-looking sword, and he just slices its head off. It's like, where's that sword yeah. coming from? I did, yeah. I didn't... Yeah. I thought the same thing, but I was also like, yeah, I don't care. It's a sword. It's fucking sick. Who cares? It's a sword. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Bring Bringing it back to Eddie as well, the only thing I didn't like about his death was how no one really talked about it. Like, none of the other mm. people talked about it apart from Dustin. Oh, like, just like all the main characters. Yeah, no one brought it up. Mm. Which, yeah, I, I don't think he deserved that. But that yeah. that um that line as well. Well, there was two lines. It's like when Eddie is about to die, he goes, oh, "I didn't run away this time, did I?" Which is a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to shit on Eddie or just the writers. But it was a like it was the tensiest little bit forced, but it was still like delivered very well. If you mm-hmm. know what I mean. Yeah. And um, yeah. that whole bit about, like, he protected a town that hated him or he died for a town that hated him or something like that. He did. Yeah. Because, yeah. Everyone thought... Yeah, the man got kind of done dirty. Everyone just kind of hated on him. He didn't deserve it. No, he didn't do anything because... Oh, because um, Jason brought up... For those who don't know who Jason is, he's the basketball captain that was kind of went on a rampage after Chrissy's death because they were dating. Mm-hmm. And then Jason yeah. just, like, tricked everyone to thinking that it hell, the Hellfire Club was, like, this satanic cult. And when the when the, when it, the inside out starts to slowly creep into the real world, um, fuck, everyone, everyone was, uh, the news reporters, the town was saying, like, um, how it was the Hellfire Club's fault, like, they opened up a portal to hell yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> dude my screen was frozen fast like two minutes <laughs> and now it's just like speed rushing everything you're saying like it's like a time lapse of you it looks fucking <laughs> it looks stupid but it's also hell funny <laughs> you're fine for me yeah know. um yeah oh and a small little thing as well did you notice that when all the main characters were looking at the upside down creeping into the the real world how we kind of got a semi mid shot of uh will and his nose was bleeding a little bit yeah i did notice that yeah um which yeah which clearly means some some shit's about to go down but they left us on a cliffhanger which is a perfect segue into season five which i didn't think would happen because i honestly thought this would have been the Mm -hmm. last season yeah just because of the same the height of what was happening. I mean, I thought mm-hmm. Vecna was the the real <coughs> deal. Like, I thought he was just he was behind all of it. Yeah. So. Maybe Will's the villain. He's the ultimate. <laughs> He's Thanos. Oh, so t- um, continuing um, Will as well. How did you feel when um, Will showed Mike that painting that he did? Yeah, clearly the man is clearly the man's gay. Um, <laughs> what did I say? Nothing wrong with that. What did I say? Yeah. What did I say? Yeah. Um, well, it's either... Still didn't... They really... They didn't talk about it afterwards, though. Like, I thought something was going to happen with that, but nothing happens. Mm. Um, I thought... I thought they were going to talk about... Will was going to talk about with um Jonathan at the oh, pizza yeah, place. when they were like... Because they always seemed to look at mm. each other when uh, Will was with Mike as well. But I don't, yeah. I don't know if it's either Will... Will is, I know, in love. I'm not gonna say in love. It seems a bit cheesy, but Will mm-hmm. um, likes. It's either Will likes Mike, or Will likes Eleven. But he's pissed that Mike's with her. Yeah, he's not pissed. He's just. But it's more leaning towards the Will sad. likes Mike, because. He gives him that painting. He does. And then he goes, oh, look, this is you at the front. You're the leader. You're the heart of the group. Yeah. But I feel like also that dragon that he drew on the painting is a little hint to season five as well. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. That's just my... Pre- uh, I think it's just Dungeons and Dragons. It's D&D, man. Yeah, but it's, there's, there's been plenty of stuff based on D&D that have been villains. They call the Vecna, Vecna in uh, D&D at the start of the season and, and then they end up calling him Vecna. And... So... 
I'm not too sure. Yeah. Do you have any... We'll see if there's dragons. Yeah, there might be. Um, but do you, speaking of predictions of season five, we'll have to wait another three years, but do you have any? Uh, honestly, <laughs> not really. Um, what is there to predict? Um, hopefully someone from the main group dies, like the actual main group. I feel like, like eleven. I feel five. like eleven has to go. Yeah. To save, like it'll be this big thing, like that she has to, like, because she created it all, that she'll have to mm-hmm. sacrifice herself to, you know, stop it all, because she's like the main source of why all this shit's happening. Yeah. But um. I still think I don't know if this is a a uh, hot take, but I still think Eleven's a boring character. I I can I on a, no I can I can definitely see where you come I can definitely see where you're coming from in in that aspect but that's her character that's who she plays but I can definitely see where you're coming from like she's got no emotion I mean she's got emotion but mm-hmm. only when she gets angry she's got that angry kind of emotion but mm-hmm. even though when um Hopper comes back and sort of surprises her there was like a little bit of um happiness and like sad tears and stuff like that. I mean, she's a yeah. good. She's a good. Like Millie Bobby Brown's a good actor for like playing that that role. But I can, I, I can, mm-hmm. s- I can see where you're coming from. Um, from there. Yeah, like, I feel like Max was a much more interesting character. This yeah, she. Had, I think she had way more screen time. I said we said this last week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if she, if this was like, if it's like awards for the show, like NBA awards, I think she'd definitely get most improved. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> compared to because <laughs> she was quite boring before um who's, yeah. who's getting rookie of the year rookie, Eddie obviously yeah um MVP yeah MVP probably probably Dustin or Steve yeah yeah um <laughs> um I don't know what else I mean Def- Dustin Dustin's always <laughs> Uh, <laughs> defensive player of the year, I might go Hopper. Yeah, he plays some good. Yeah, he, he plays some. Sword and, like, he's got yeah. some pretty good defense. Prison. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he escapes he the prison twice. Escapes the prison twice. He does. Oh no, three times actually. Yeah, three times. Mm. Um, yeah. What other categories are there? <laughs> uh, there's like all the stats leaders. Um, <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's pretty much we've got the most one covered. Yeah. Um yeah. Um Oh my god. Yeah, it was good. I I I honestly did think like though people saying it went fast. I was staying up to like three AM watching it. Honestly, I kind of I feel like, like I feel like it did like, go a little fast. Like it <laughs> felt quick. For two and a half hours. Like that's that godfather. Mm. Yeah. But like yeah, I was still watching. I like checked and there's like thirty minutes left. I was like, bruh. This well, bit, so how is just, this not ended? You were yet? just grinding it. Yeah. Fair yeah, it was good. Um Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um Yeah. It's do you reckon it's better than volume one? <sighs> no. I mean, it it had a lot more weight and stakes to it. Because, like, mm-hmm. I mean, everyone just dropped, like, flies, apart from Volume mm-hmm. 1. But, like, Volume 1 had a... I don't know how I feel about Volume 1, because there were a few boring moments, to be honest. This is also a hot take. I thought, like, the the 11 scenes when she was in the base and, like, doing all that Nina stuff, I found that a little bit boring. Mm. Just a bit. Yeah. Like, it, it went... It, it, it dragged on for a little too long, but I, I get where they needed to why they needed to do that so they could, you know, fully um, show the backstory of Vecna. But, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'll go volume two just because, like, more shit happens. It's more more yeah. emotional. Yeah. There's more weight to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, speaking on one more death, it was a kind of a quick what? death. Uh, Jason, I don't know if we brought it up. Who's that? The... The basketball captain. 
Oh, that's it, yeah. Yeah, but I... Oh, uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah. In volume one, I was like... I, I laughed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it was so funny. Because it, it was so quick as well. It was just like, it was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. He's fucked. He's gone. Um, yeah. Well, I've, he's I've, legit responsible for Max, like, breaking her legs and... Yeah, arms, that's, what I, so. that's what I was kind of... That's what I was getting to. Like, I didn't feel like he... He didn't need to die in, like, volume one. But as soon as he, like, stomped on Max's Walkman and, like destroyed all their plans oh. of defeating Vector. I was like, okay, this fucking dickhead needs to go. Yeah. But like when, sp- yeah. when it's split, his whole body just like, and you hear this little, oh, and then it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, but yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah fuck. For a dickhead. I thought man was going to like turn around and like end up being good, but. Oh, when Lucas was talking up being a dick. Him. Yeah, like trying to I was like, bro, him. just accept it. Bro, can you, not see, can you not see this chick, like, full, like, skitting out? Can you not see Max, like... Exactly. Has... She's, she's she's flying. Like, she's lifted up in the air, and he's still doing, like... Yeah. Oh, I want to kill you, Lucas. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. Oh, um... When... I thought what was also funny as well, when... Um... What's... Oh no, Jonathan, Jonathan, Will, Mike, and Argyle and Eleven were in the pizza place, and they were like making the salt bath for her, and like everyone was like skitting out and like stressing and stuff, and Argyle mm-hmm. was just like cooking a pizza. Oh yeah, <sighs> yeah, um, yeah. I thought he was funny on this volume. Yeah, um, he had more more time. Yeah. he had a bit more time. I mean, just because it was yeah. also short, but yeah, mm. yeah, but I'll, yeah, yeah. What would you give it out of ten? Compared, uh, what did you give a rating for Volume One out of ten? Uh, probably like nine something, nine point three something around there. Um, nine point three for Volume One, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Probably is. I don't know. Probably give like nine point four. Only slightly better. Still the same quality. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll, I'll, masterpiece. I'll, I'll, look, I'll agree with you on that one. I'll give it a 9.4 mm. as well. I mean, it's definitely... Yeah. Do you reckon it's the biggest cliffhanger? It's got to be. What? In Stranger yeah. Things? Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought you meant, like, TV history. I was like, hell Oh, no. <laughs> no. No way. No way. But, like, just cliffhanger in general for Stranger Things. Like, I mean, we've never seen something like this before, so... Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do next because now, I don't know if this going to be like restoring Hawkins. I don't know what's going to happen, but... Oh, they'll just be... Uh, it'll yeah. be fighting Vecna again in a different form, I guess. But... Mm. Or do you think... W- will it be in a different form? Like, they f***ed him up. Like... Yeah. I don't even know. Mm. Um, I have to wait and see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Oh, David Harbour's weight what? loss. Should we bring that up? Sure. <laughs> yeah, looks better. Um, oh, it had to happen. Yeah, I like that. I like that Mike encounter with Hopper. He's like, "Yeah, man, you shrunk, you know, because he's skinny." Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's wholesome. I mean, when they well, when they gave each other that hug, because like, um, Hopper hated on Mike mm. for like dating his daughter yeah. <laughs> I can't it's get cool. over that blooper from season 3 when Hopper was telling Mike to go home <laughs> and then uh, he goes oh what's wrong and he goes it's your grandma and then he kept like laughing and I just you need to watch it it's hilarious it's so funny the delivery yeah. of that line was so shocking like he just kept f- up but it was funny um, yeah. yeah anything else um, probably is. I didn't prepare at all. <laughs> um, yeah, I know you didn't prepare. You never prepare. Um, yeah, I think we got the main things down. Um, I definitely think it's the most emotional season. Um, what the? What was that? Sorry, my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the uh, most. Oh no, they probably they probably bring me about COVID. Um, Are you the first person yeah. that's got in your family, or no? 
Are you the last or? Uh, don't know, but plenty of us have had it. Oh, that is yeah. Weird. Never had COVID. I've had the flu that well, that flu twice. Now I got tonsillitis. Yeah. <sighs> what? No, I had tonsillitis. Chill. I had tonsillitis. It's okay. Oh my God. I'm never getting tonsillitis because I don't have tonsils. Yeah, I need to get them removed, but apparently it's too dangerous to get them removed. Really? Like, at this oh, age. Mine are gone. When did you get them removed? Like, when you were little? I was like three. Yeah. 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 That's when everyone had to get them. Well, yeah. Mm. That's usually when you got them removed. Um, because I snored too loud and I dribbled a lot, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> random but yeah a th- a three year- as a three year old child you're a chronic snorer <laughs> that's what I got told yeah oh did I tell you I watched um Midsummer last night as well what do you think that's weird it is weird it's um it's very strange did you like that cliff jumping scene oh my god that was hectic what yeah. was that? Oh my god! Oh, we've got a minute on this as well, so we're gonna have to like end it and then start a new one. Oh, for the screen record? No, not for the screen record. The um, the Zoom, because I'm not, I'm not, oh. I'm not on um premium. So you're gonna have to pause it here, and we'll restart it. It's already been forty minutes. Around, it's been thirty minutes. Back on the topic of uh, midsummer. Oh yeah. yeah that cl- that cliff scene was. Whack. Bruh. Wacky. Yeah, I know. The bit where, like, you see the old man's leg, and I was like, what the f- am I watching? Well, even when this you see brutal. that lady's face collapse, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ill. <sighs> and then the yeah. Americans are just, like, freaking out, and then they just get murdered because yeah. they're, they're freaking out. How creepy was that as well when um the guy was, like, looking at the book... And then he gets, like, yeah. smacked on the head. And then the character Mark, played by Will Poulter, they, like, skinned his face because he pissed on, oh, the, yeah. he pissed on the tree where they put all the dead people's ashes. Yeah. Oh, he, he kind of pissed me off as well, that character. Like, just a chronic vapour. Like, just vaping every second. Dude. <laughs> right, I'm bleeping that. I don't okay. know. <laughs> um, no, nah, he was cool. What did you say? Um... What? what did you say? Sorry, I've got like some guy here just talking. I heard a word that makes my ears prick up. <laughs> Shut up. Um, but yeah, it was a weird movie. It was weird. Yeah. The ending was strange. Um, yeah, I didn't really know how I felt about that. I was like meant to feel like, like that dude did not deserve. Um, what's his name? Is it Andrew or something? The boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, he did not deserve to get burnt alive. Yeah, because he like pretty much got best, poisoned. So. He got drugged. Yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, like he didn't want to do that. No. So, yeah, um, yeah, um, trippy movie. See how like the bushes were, like always moving and stuff. Yeah, and the flowers on her head were like yeah. breathing when she was breathing, and like the trees were. Well, especially yeah. the scene where they take the mushrooms, like at the very start. And then she goes in the bathroom to, and turns on the candle and there's a, like, old bloke sitting in the back. Yeah. And then when she's, like, greeted by everyone, like, their eyes are, like... Shoo, shoo. The visual... Yeah, the visual effects were really good. I really, I really yeah. liked them. But, yeah. Yeah. That's it's pretty much what movie. I watched. I've been editing the yeah. other episode, so... Mm. Pardon me. Um, yeah. Ari Aster's next movie. This is three hours and 20 minutes, so... What is it? Called Dis- Disappointment Boulevard with Joaquin Phoenix. So, yeah. Oh, were we talking about Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker, the second Joker? How it could. I don't think we have. I don't know. Were we, we talked about it briefly when we went to see. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Elvis. Elvis. Um, how apparently it's going to be a musical yeah. and people are like all for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't. don't it's a terrible ruin, idea. Don't ruin a good thing. Don't. Don't. Oh, if they make that the joke, surely that's not going to happen. That can't happen. Like I'm not going to watch it. I'm I'm not going to yeah. watch it. There's no way I could bring myself to watch a Joker musical. 
with Joaquin Phoenix in it as well. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Anyways, we've pretty much covered Stranger Things, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. Unless pretty much. anything, highly recommend. Uh, yeah. You should definitely watch it if you yeah. really haven't. You're living under a rock if you haven't. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Great online. I preferred, I preferred in person to be honest than online. So oh, no shit. Yeah. It's so oh, this sucks. It's gonna. Uh, I say this every week. This is gonna be such a bitch to edit because it's like yeah, you can't like he in real person. So mm. <sighs> I'll figure it out. Whatever. Anyways. Yeah. I'm looking forward to get back next to get to getting back next week. But, uh we're gonna have to. Gonna be, we have to wait to see because I can't be out of covid until like monday and oh, four comes out yeah i was gonna watch tomorrow, it tomorrow. yeah you watch it without me should i watch yeah, it go tomorrow? about me yeah i was gonna okay. i was gonna i was gonna see if someone else anyway before you <laughs> i was gonna tell you that as well <laughs> okay i'm gonna say it tomorrow then and i'll spoil i'll spoil okay. the whole thing for you okay you gotta pay 25 bucks though so unlucky <sighs> <laughs> yeah man Xavier said he'd taking those Xavier, prices Xavier, Xavier sh- said he'd uh, shout me so that's all good oh he's a good man <laughs> Xavier yeah, shout no, out to Xavier for just being here <laughs> yeah just, he's just he just are you glad to be here I'm cementing my spot in the podcast okay yeah so then when you start making money I start getting proceeds <laughs> yeah we're getting we're getting donuts at the moment so oh yeah. yeah it'll come it's a slow it's a slow grind it is a slow grind but yeah anyways yeah you know i was looking at the spotify this morning and we've got 10 five star reviews really 10 yeah i was like damn impressive 10 for us is a lot ladies and gentlemen so just keep that in mind yeah <laughs> oh you only got 10 bro that sucks <laughs> keep in mind we're a small channel we've hardly mm. got any followers so that's 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 yeah. big for us to get reviews on our channel yeah a lot of people these days with small channels can't be fucked doing it so um i'm yeah. glad to those 10 people out there that gave us a review yeah. so yeah anyways is mm. that it are we done here I think we're done, yeah. Yeah, we're done. We've covered all we're the... We're going to get back to Daredevil. We've covered all the bases of Stranger Things and a few other, you know, just housekeeping stuff. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, this has been episode 28 of uh, Dead Film Society. Follow us on Apple Podcasts, yeah. Google Podcasts, Spotify. As as we said, the five-star reviews, keep them coming. Um, yeah, just follow us on all that... Uh, all that... Good stuff. All that good stuff. Um, thanks for the support. Um, like and subscribe. Finger the yeah. like button. Finger it. Please finger do. It real good. Finger that like button. Say, you want to say finger that like button? I don't want to say that. Say it. Uh, like right. and subscribe. I'm not saying. <laughs> Wait, can yeah. you say, I was editing the thing the other day, and can you just like go into the mic and say, yeah, uh, podcast. <laughs> You'll see it when it comes oh, out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just like, you didn't know what to say, so you just like, oh, podcast. <laughs> anyways uh thanks yeah. for listening thanks for watching catch you next week we'll be doing thor review and i don't know what we'll are be we uploading about. we're uploading the yeah we're uploading episode tonight. tonight yeah okay all right all right catch Bye. you later